What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Submariner. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as me and my kitty co-pilot. That's right, I've got a kitty co-pilot today. He's chilling on my lap making little baby rumbles. And we have all kinds of stuff to do, so I'm having trouble sorting through it all. I actually sat down with the journal and tried to go through everything that I needed to get done. And frankly, I think we'll just continue sailing around and handle thing, handling things as we see them. However, what we really, really need to do while we're here is we need to go to our lodgings. We need to read the morning papers. Oh, we got a free supply. Hooray. And then we also need to rest in the room above the blind helmsman. And so there it is. We lost one of our wounds. We still, unfortunately, have yearning burning, which is a little bit of a downer. That's absolutely... You can get rid of that. I don't know if it's based on luck or how that all resolves itself. I know that sometimes your infatuation or your addiction to the light will go away, but other times it doesn't, and I don't recall exactly how that works, but eh, it's all good. We only lost one terror right there, so terror is still not high. It's at 43. It'll do. We could actually go to Hunter's Keep, though, and lower that off a little bit better. As far as our hold is concerned, we have 37 out of 40. A mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. I think we have to take that to Khan's shadow. I think that's where that goes. And I don't think you get the box back afterwards. However, if we make the run to Estval, we could get like three of these, four of these, fill them all with sunlight, and then we could bring it back here and make like 1,600 echoes. It's risky, but given how popular we are with the Admiralty right now, I think we could probably get away with it. Just use our influence instead to tell people to back off, you know? Inside the shops, let's go ahead and buy a little bit more fuel, just so we're taken care of, and we will set sail. There's not a whole lot else to do. We got a couple things that need us to go to Avid Horizon and up to the north. If we were working on... I don't really know what I want to work on today. That's the thing, is we do have a lot of objectives. So the Haunted Doctor, honest, learned, prone to jump at loud noises. If I speak to him, what does he want to do? He's got a light dinner of Z-Trout and Bracket Gruel. Roast lizard and cabbage in the Kaganian style. Ask about his medical career. Let's ask about his career. He looks up from a wounded Zaylor. No, no, I mustn't. No. I've heard no stories I would wish. You would wish to hear. He sniffs. Unless that would... Is that Z-Trout? A dour companion. The doctor pushes forward... Or pushes more food around his plate than he puts into his mouth. And what he eats he chews until all taste has been squeezed out. Between bites, he sips only water, evading all questions where opinion is sought. It is only when the subject turns to his trade that something flickers inside of him, old memories of pain and pride. I am... I fear it was my training that let me see the world for what it was. Its corpus infested by malignancies with human faces. How could I dare face Hippocrates in the hereafter if I just stood by and did nothing? Nothing! His eye meets yours for the first time, fierce and damned. If two drops of medicine can cure the body, could two drops of poison cure the world? For a moment, it actually seemed that easy. The fire fades and he pushes back his chair. Pardon me, my lord. I fear I've had my fill for the day. We got an intriguing snippet. Okay. We can't really do much. Oh, we need a cask of mushroom wine. Hold on, let's turn around. We're gonna go get that right now. I would rather work on, like, little small objectives today. If we can start working on the quest for each of our crewmen, Almost all of these pay back immensely once you finish the entire chain. And if you can't finish the chain, that gives you something to do in the end game. Like, for example, with the tireless mechanic, there's not a lot we can do for him right now because his final quest requires you to go to Avid Horizon or it requires you to go up north and do a really, really, really difficult quest that, like, you have to have, like, 70 in all your stats. It's really, really difficult in order to get it done. It's very, very risky unless you've got very high stats. And so I might not entirely recommend it. I'm going to take that. We'll take that. And then the cask of mushroom wine. Where are my shroom wine at? Where the shrooms? Where the shrooms? Where the shrooms at? All right. So now we speak to the doctor. The haunted doctor has kept to himself since dinner. Perhaps some wine will help him open up. Well, I let most of them slip away peacefully. A drop of laudanum still on their tongues. Well, that sop to my conscience I am most ashamed of all. The wine flows as the haunted doctor talks candidly of his past, of a status that allowed him to the bedsides of many of London's most infamous, and the black medicine bag that carried the tools of both of his trades, doctor and anarchist poisoner. Oh, he was really? I didn't realize he was a calendar company or calendar whatever or anarchist. So there's these guys that are called anarchists in London, and essentially they're trying to overthrow the monarchy and the bazaar and all that kind of stuff. 
the calendar council, I think is what they're called. But nobody really knows why they're doing it. In fact, I don't think they know why they're trying to overthrow it. They're basically just like agents of entropy. Like they just run around doing chaotic neutral shit and just like messing with society, essentially. The wine flows. Okay, so he was anarchist poisoner. I was a fool, he adds. A child, just a boy on a crusade, drinking in the rhetoric of the calendar council, thinking myself more than a mere poisoner. What I did, I did not regret. Would, though, that I had seen their true hearts before giving myself so freely to petition. He wraps his leather eye patch. The sound is hollow and sickly. It is a disappointment I well deserved. The lady taught me that much, at least. I am... no. Another time, perhaps. The hour grows late, and I, I thank you for the company. So we've got a tale of terror, another intriguing snippet. His next thing, let's see what he needs for his next part. Soft-voiced, courteous, oh, he doesn't need anything for a little bit. How many secrets do I have? I would love to increase my pages. Man, we need to find somebody that can help us out with pages. Because everything else is actually more or less evened out. With the irrepressible cannoneer, he wants five torpedoes, ten fuel, and five supplies. Well, no better time than to talk to him than now, then, I guess. I've had enough to eat, thank you. I, I don't eat much, but I'd like to demonstrate some ideas that I've had. Can you meet me on the after deck at eight bells? The cannoneer has found ways to calibrate your weapons for additional death and explosions. When the smoke clears, however, it is impossible to deny that the risk and expense of most of these tricks is a little too great. Only a couple of minor modifications are safe to use. But, do you know, the cannoneer says, squinting thoughtfully, it reminds me of a story. The Iron and Mizzenity Company were testing something. I destroyed one of their outlying stations. Destroyed it to bits? Uh, if you can find me the prototype, I can make it work for us. Can you take me to Demo Island? I used to know the factor there, and he might talk. So we need to go to Demo, and we've gained irons. We've gained fragments. We've got Tale of Terror. We've lost a ton of fuel, torpedoes, and supplies. But that'll have to do for right now. I'll go ahead and I'll repurchase them. Luckily, we're not strapped for cash at the moment, so it's not too bad. There we go. And so now we're back out and on the road. But we did get his quest started, so that's good. To me right now, I think we have more objectives in the north than we have to the south. Like, yes, right now I could absolutely be working on my endgame criteria to actually win the game. But that's a long, long ways off. This game is very, very long-winded. It's not a game for people that are impatient. It's a game that is designed to take you 50 to 80 hours to complete. And that's if you really, really rush it. I've spent crazy amounts of hours in this game where you can just wander around doing stuff. You know what I mean? There's no... I suppose I should go down to Low Barnet while I'm here. Let's go down to Low Barnet while I'm here. It's going to cost us a little bit of fuel, but we might as well pick up the port report and see what's going on. It'll also give me a nice opportunity to refresh my memory as to what we were doing down here. Are those gravestones right there? They look like gravestones to me. I probably pointed those out in the past, but I don't know. Things don't stick with me like they used to. Things don't stick with me like they used to. Uh, we will get... Our port report is here somewhere. We explored the church, so there's our port report. Uh, if we trade stories with the congregation, we would need... Port reports from just about everywhere else. And so, these are all from underwater as well. Uh, we can get things from the Undercrow, we can get them from Scrimshander. I haven't been to Nook, I haven't been to Rosegate, but I've been everywhere else, I think. My guess is that Rosegate and Nook are probably somewhere in the south. We'll try to come back here before we go back to London with our port reports and see if maybe we can come up with something. Back up to the surface because I don't want to waste fuel. And most assuredly, I do not want to waste terror because we're going to be out and about on our boat for a little bit. Hopefully we can find ourselves some new fun adventures along the way. And if we could kill a couple enemies, I definitely wouldn't be adverse to that. Like if we could kill a Lorn Fluke while we're out. That'd be really good. I'd be okay with that. Uh, that would allow us to either turn in the Lorn Flute, gives you a color that doesn't exist, that you can either take back to the Curator, or B, we can use it to turn into the Antiquarian. Uh, we've got not receiving visitors. Let's go ahead and reconnoiter the island. I will go News News. And we will go with the Cheery Sister. So there it is. There's our supply. Our hunger is good. Four memories of distant shore. Unfortunately, we got Stone's attention, which will come back and bite us later on down the line. But for now, it's not so terrible. It could be a lot worse. Like a lot, a lot worse. If I see a lifeberg up here, I may give it a go because as I recall in the previous episode, we had equipped ourselves with a flensing weapon, as I recall. 
Did it not save? Oh my good lord, it didn't save any of my purchases. Oh, why didn't it save my purchases? I thought we had a bit too much money. I was of the opinion that that was the case. Mm. Too far from London to turn out. Man, I don't know why the game did that. I thought it saved every time you bought anything or did anything. Here, let me get the lamps on real quick. See if maybe we can handle these bats before anything else goes wrong. Oh, they're running away. Okay. That's fine. I'm not super interested in fighting airborne rodents anyways. Apparently, you can torpedo bats. It's an airborne torpedo. It bursts out of the ground. It's one of those ones. Like the ones that they used to throw out of planes. Gather up the corpses and into the pot. Or we can go with... Uh, let's get rid of some terror. We don't really need the supplies right now. We're a little bit overloaded anyways. We have no torpedoes, so unfortunately combat is not going to be a super ready option. Was that a pirate down here? I think it was. Let's go ahead and see if we can take him. Well, I'll take a little bit of a ding and a scratch there, but ah. That's life. Loot and Scuttler, Cache of Curiosities. That gave us four supplies, which unfortunately puts us way over the edge as far as supplies are concerned. So we'll just throw those overboard. I have parabola linen with me too. Man, I didn't save anything that I did the last time through. Well, here, let me resupply. I'm going to buy all the stuff that I had previously, and then we'll go back out to sea. That's really a disappointment. On second thought, I can't because I took the blind bruiser's charge. I just realized I can't go back to port, so that's just kind of the perfect storm mixing up with the nastiest tsunami. I suppose we'll just make do for right now. I am disappointed that we don't have the upgraded engine capacity and the game didn't save. Uh, I, I closed the game between here and the last time I recorded an episode. So yesterday's episode, there was a gap in between there. And so unfortunately, it didn't save any of the stuff I did. So our ship is not fitted up properly right now. We fitted it at the end of the last episode, I think. And now we have no fittings. We have no fittings. And I'm trapped away because of the blind bruiser. We've got to go over to Khan's heart, I think, to do our business with the blind bruiser. That's cool, though, because we needed to visit Khan's shadow anyways in order to lock down, I think, the cask of dream snakes or whatever, the chest of dream snakes. We will gather gossip. There it is. What else do we have going on here? The last tour operator. Explore vendor or vendor bite. Sure. Let's explore. Now uh, we find the Carmine Chapel again, and we can make an offering with half-familiar rights. I'm going to go ahead and search it. Oh, I failed with a 95%, huh? No kidding. All right, then. Well, I didn't want to succeed at it anyways. <laughs> Being successful is overrated. Is Demo Island... It is not. Okay. I've already way overshot Demo Island. That's fine. Not that concerned about it. To the northward we go! I like this game a lot. This is a relaxing game for me. It's one of those games that I could just play for hours and hours and hours on it and just lose time. I actually, strangely enough, I do the same thing with Destiny. I know people don't like Destiny much, but I love Destiny. I don't know. For some reason, I can lose days playing Destiny. I sit down and I just time disappears. I think it's because all my friends play, though, too. I think with a game like that, if you miss out on the social aspect, like... It helps if everybody you know also plays, so that every time you jump online, you're, like, sitting in a voice chat, you know, shooting the shit with people on Ventrilo or whatever while you play the game. That helps out a lot. Most games become a lot more tolerable when you've got that situation going on. I've, uh, I'm currently leveling up again because I used to play on the PS4, but all my friends play on the X-Bone, and I didn't have a bone, and I finally I got the Xbox for Xbox One for my wedding. My best man got me an X-Bone. So anyways, all my friends play on the Xbox One, and so I had to re-roll over there. So I lost a lot of my exclusive stuff that I have from the PS4, but I think trading out for friends is more important. I I'd rather hang out with people I know than, you know, have a bunch of, like, random mounts and bullshit like that on a server where I'm all by my lonesome. Let's see here. House of the Question is not important. We will gather intelligence. Sure, leaving Wither is probably... Overly expensive. Yes, 50. Let's explore the town real fast. Uh, we've got a contest of riddles. I'm not going to do those. Oh, that ate up my... That sucks. 
So apparently that ate up my something awaits you. I was not planning on that happening. Okay. Well, we no longer have something awaits you, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow until it gets all better. Unfortunately, something awaits you is supremely important in this game, and if you don't have it, it can be a bit of a mess. Like, when you go to ports, it just means nothing new or interesting is going to happen. Got to lose that lifeberg, too, because I don't have the ordinance in order to outrun. Oh, he's moving quick, too. He's a speedy lifeberg. He's a lifeberg with talents. I should probably use that strange catch on Maybe's daughter, I think. I'll do that at this port. So there we are, the Isle of Codex. Go ahead and get our port report. And then officers, Maybe's daughter. I can invite her to dine with me if you have supplies and you also have a strange catch. That's a lovely idea. How about a fish dinner? I do have quite particular tastes in fish. A knowing smile. You know, I've heard about you. You like to invite your officers to dinner and learn their secrets. Well, you don't need to dig far to find mine. I wanted to talk to you about it, actually. I've never met my mother. I know my father. I'm a countess on his side, actually. But I'd like to find her. She's somewhere out at Z. If only... Uh... Really, you'd help me. That's too kind of you. If you insist, here, it just so happens I've made a list earlier tonight. Her mother will be found in one of these places. Wither, the Isle of Cats, Irem, the Chelinet, Khan's Shadow, Port Carnelian, or the surface port of Naples. Review this in your journal after learning about Maybe's daughter. And so now we have, I mean, we're right next to Wither, so I feel like backtracking and just seeing if maybe we can lock that down. There's nothing to be lost there, right? Yeah, Wither's right here. So we'll go back and we'll check Wither. I don't remember if she randomly spawns in one of these places or if she's always at Naples. She might always be at Naples. Everything might be a wild goose chase until Naples. I don't recall. I don't think I've ever actually been up to the surface now that I think about it. I don't think I've ever done that subquest. That's something that we'll have to like set ourselves to the task of doing, I think, as this playthrough goes along. I I'd very much like to see. I've heard people that go up there with like 15 boxes and then they bring them all back and make a ton of money that way so they can max out and get the best ships in the game and stuff like that. In Wither, it is an impossible challenge. A 2% chance. I don't know why someone would come here, but she does. Something about questions. The daughter shivers. You know, she asks people about love all the time and writes down answers in a nasty little book. Love. The daughter's mouth twists. I've been asking questions for three hours, and every time I ask a question, they reply with a question I think I might... Well... I might, but I didn't. I just... I picked their pockets, and I think that's entirely reasonable under the circumstances, don't you? Here's your share. Let's go and look somewhere else. Did I fail? Okay, so maybe his daughter 10 failed in a challenge. We are searching... Oh, we got mutter salt, though. That's pretty cool. Mutter salt, I don't recall what it comes from, but mutter salt's actually pretty valuable. You need it for a couple of clutch quests that, like, make certain things happen unless you don't have... I mean, honestly, that's... I say that about everything, but that's the story about every item in this entire game. Every item in this game is like clutch for some event, and you just don't carry it around with you because you never know. Like, I should have got souls while I was back here too so I could bring them to the devil lady at Port Palmerston. We'll probably then... Con's heart's right there. I don't know if I'll make the full run. I mean, I'll go out to here, maybe come down, hit Godfall, scream a shander. Go down like so, Khan's shadow, then maybe loop back. Let's just get the job done for right now. I mean, there's a lot of different places that we're supposed to be looking. Uh, we'll head to the Undercrow next, and we'll get the port report from there so that we can tell that story when we go down to Low Barnett. In fact, the, less, the next time we go to London, I'm not going to turn in my port reports. Instead, uh, we've got the sea as bright as milk, false stars above or black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze unfolds, or enfolds your boat. You're transparent as glass. Uh, I can turn the helm and flee across the milk bright sea. And so there it is. I've gained terror, but I've succeeded in a challenge. I've lost one menace. And so my... Oh, my restful night actually protected me right there. So that's good. That's always a nice thing to have. And actually, I'll probably approach the undercrow underwater. Why not? Might find some torpedoes or something to reload our guns with. You can never tell. Sometimes there's good stuff down here. Let's turn the engines on. Which should be easy. Very, very easily stimulated, those engines. You barely have to try. Put in any effort whatsoever, and I'm sure you'll get something out of it. 
something back over here. What is it? Is it a monster? Oh, it's fuel. Huzzah. We could definitely use that. So let's go ahead and grab it real quick before it pollutes the ocean and makes everything nasty. Do the Captain Planet thing right now. And so we got one fuel from there. In addition, we've got some kind of purple shit. I don't remember what this does. Uh, it drained my a burst of Irigo light. I lost terror, but I also lost my fragments for leveling up. Okay, I, that's not so bad. I mean, there are worse things that can happen to you. Losing fragments is a bit of a pain, but you can pick them up in other ways, so I'm not going to panic about it. We are, however, going through fuel pretty rapidly. Oh, I don't want to be in combat mode. I just want to skiff along the bottom for a little while. Skiff, skiff. Skiff, skiff. Lights glance past the windows, another submarine. What's strange about this expansion is that submarines are supposed to be super illegal. So, like, seeing another submarine probably would not be the first place my mind would go if I was underwater. Like, even the Connet says that they've abandoned their attempts to create a submarine and kind of just, like, cataloged the whole thing and gave up on it. If there are torpedoes down here, I'm definitely going to try and pick them up because we need armaments. Uh, I think that gives you supplies. I think it's a school of fish. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if it actually added plus one, though. I, I was watching up here, but I looked away for just a second. So technically, I guess you could say I wasn't looking up there. All right, so in the undercrow... Oh, yeah, we had to deliver the response from the lever or whatever it was. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get our port report real fast. And we will give the visionary's response. The almost dead man is dismissed from his service. Surely that's good news. The almost dead man asks you to describe the commander's response in maddening detail. He only desists when an attempt to return to the Kaganian salute results in a spasm of pain. As the incomparable Aurelian offers him some water, you watch his ribs rise and fall like the keys on a piano forte. When the pain has subsided, the old man's grimace settles into a faraway smile. He still wears the ascot I gave him. Okay, so I've got to deliver a letter of apology to a flinty latitudinarian at Nook. The almost dead man assures you at length that the latitudinarian is not a man to blame the messenger. Okay, after a brief consultation with the incomparable Aurelian, the ancient man hands you a sealed letter. I'm told that he resides in an etched toothed house in the mall. When I imagine what he could have been. Okay. I can give him a Z story, but I don't have that many of them. So you're trading. I mean, it's a pretty good trade. Like, you get an intriguing snippet. Which I think is worth like 5 Echoes. You gain like 60, 45 Echoes worth right there in exchange for 20 Echoes. So it's like, it's worth it. But the problem is like Z-Stories are harder to come by than all the other stuff. Like Tales of Terror are very easy to get. Memories of Forgotten Shores are pretty easy to front stock on as well. Let's go ahead and surface actually. I don't want to waste the excess fuel that we have now that we're... We've taken care of our business there, so we'll look at the chart the second we get up above the surface. We'll try to decide where we want to be at. And I think Bright is up next. In going to Frostfound, I believe that he has a quest piece for Frostfound, but it kind of depends on whether or not we can go back and get it. I'll take a look and see what happens once we get there, but I think that might be a quest that we want to save for later on in the game once we are a little bit stronger, a little bit more refined, and a little bit more leveled up. Uh, Frostfound will more than likely be our last stop in this episode. It's amazing how long it takes to get even the simplest stuff done in this game. Like, slightly traveling just in one direction. It can eat up 30 minutes very, very quickly. Like I said, I used to sit down and play this game, and it'd be like 6 o'clock right after dinner. And all of a sudden, I'd look at the clock, and it'd be like 2 in the morning. And I'd be like, oh my god, what has happened? You'd be sitting there all sandy-eyed. <laughs> All red-eyed, ready for bed, but you're just like, no, 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 I gotta do one more voyage. It's just, if I can finish this quest, I wanna see what happens. I wanna find out what occurs. Because that's all this game is. This is you, the game is you going through trying to figure out what happens when you deliver the letter, or like, when you deliver the supplies. You just wanna find out, and you wanna see what the reward is. Because this is a game with explosive rewards. 
And what I mean by that is that most RPGs will like level scale. They'll give you stuff that's like there for your level. But in this game, if you like focus on something and you complete it early on in the game, they'll give you like a huge end game reward and that's that. Uh, we've got the false stars above. Let's go ahead and eyes on deck. So I need to deliver I'm not in Nook right now, so I don't know why that's giving me the option. Let me get my port report done because I think that's probably the most important thing. And then we could enter Frostfound if we had 50 mirrors, so yeah, we can't even start his stuff right there. I'll probably take tea with the squatters then, just to get the freebies. They'll give you fuel, they'll lower your terror, and they'll give you a little bit of supply there. And then we'll be able to head on out. So my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me for the next episode of Submariner. I will see you all in the next episode. It's been a lot of fun, everybody. I do, and when next we commence, I'm sure we will have accomplished something, or at least we'll be like in a new location, or we will have done something, okay? We will have done something, I promise. See y'all later, bye everybody.